Muy buenas, cazadores, cazatrofeos, ¿qué tal estáis? Bienvenidos de nuevo al canal. Hoy vamos a ver otro jueguecito de Sometimes You. Vamos a ver cómo conseguir el platino. Eh, bastante fácil, eh, un jueguecito de un platino de 15 minutos, si no recuerdo mal aproximadamente, 15-20 minutillos. Y básicamente lo que tenéis que seguir es todos los pasos que hago en el vídeo. Eh, y no vais a tener ningún tipo de pérdida, ¿vale? Sobre todo el tema de la cocina es imperdible pero el resto hay algunos pasos que son un poquito eh, raretes. Así que os diría que si queréis el vídeo de manera completa, muchísimas gracias a Santa Inju por facilitarme un código. Y si os gusta, dadle a like, compartir y suscribiros, que es totalmente gratis y ayuda muchísimo al canal. Ahora os dejo con el wardrobe. Hey kids, my name is Captain Coolimbus. You probably know me as one of the world's most famous time travelers. Today, I want to introduce my new interactive cooking show, a time traveler's guide to past delicacies. Yes. You see, the life of a time traveler is not just about temporal paradoxes and accidental affairs with dead ancestors. Sometimes, we have the opportunity to immerse ourselves in the cultures of the past, and discover wonderful dishes that have long since been lost. So let's get cooking. My assistant, Big Flimbo, will guide you to our hors d'oeuvre. Tamales. What a tremendous piece of history. You can find them as early as 9000 years BC. Everyone was eating them. The Mayans, the Aztecs, the Toltecs, you name it. They were wolfing down tamales as if there was no tomorrow. And for many of them, there wasn't. Mm -hmm. When Captain Coolimbus made his first trip to Tenochtitlan, it was right after Hernan Cortes freed the place from the tyranny of the old gods. Back then, People were putting all types of shit in their tamales, flamingos, axolotls, even some human meat. Let me tell you, our conquistadors, they were quite disgusted by that stuff. But wouldn't you know it, very soon, everyone was eating tamales, even all good people of Europe. Of course, now you can find your bland tamales all over the world, from New York to Beijing. But let me tell you this, no tamales would ever taste better than the one Cortez and his men ate looking down the doomed splendor of the Mesoamerican civilization. Oh, that's that's our training program. I don't know why that loaded now. Sorry. Um, uh, don't panic. I will fix it, and we will get back to cooking very soon. Uh, in the meantime, just relax.
Hey, look at you, you made it. Did you like it? If so, please share, subscribe and give me a five star rating. Anyway, um, thank you for your rating. And did you ever wonder how it feels like to travel back in time and get to discover some awesome dishes of the past? Not you, because we developed some new type of simulation that will allow you to experience time travel at home. Yeah. So, are you ready to dive headfirst into the mucus of history? The dawn of man, the primordial orgy of civilization. Then just follow me to the Stone Age. Anyway, did you like it? Uh, I admit it can feel awkward sometimes, uh, going to the past, stealing some recipes, but keep in mind, the past, by definition, has already happened. So it's totally fine to profit from it. Mm -hmm. sometimes around the second half of the 19th century. Back then, the British had already abolished slavery, which came with some complications. Who was gonna work the plantations? So the British thought, let's just invite our friends from India. Yes, and so they did, gave the Indians some fake contracts and got them to work. And the Indians came with the curry dishes. That's how you get the Caribbean Colombo chicken. A marvelous blend of cultures spanning the world. A tasty ejaculate the global world mm -hmm. And when it comes to french fries, you have to understand that oil used to be a rich person's game. It's only in the second half of the 19th siècle that the French used their colonies to produce peanut oil for the masses. Yes. After that, fries quickly became the food of the proletariat. A little oily crunchiness, crunchiness, crunch, crunch, crunch.
Hey, look at you, you made it. Did you like it? If so, please share, subscribe and give me that five star rating. I sense that you are thirsty for the time traveling high again. The Neanderthals weren't enough? Do you need more middle aging? Kings and queens and little peasant boys? Okay. Then follow me to the dark ages. Did you just eat that? Didn't I tell you never to eat food from the past? You can watch how they cook, get that recipe, but never eat it. I guess maybe I didn't tell you. I mean, you know. This is a simulation, but the way these things work is that we extract data from the past and... Who am I kidding? You wouldn't understand. What's happening? You broke it? You totally broke it? Coffee. Who doesn't love some good warm cup of that dark juicy sludge? When the Turks brought that sexy concoction to Europe, not only did they produce what some called a great awakening, pumping some caffeinated thirst for discovery into the dried up veins of the good people of the old world, it also allowed us to get filthy rich. Yes, 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 yes. Without all those coffee plantations, there would be no time traveling today, you know, because progress is not cheap. What about those granola bars, Grano Gran granola, granola bars, yeah. hmm, what about them? Did you know that back in the 19th century, they didn't just want to make a good cereal bar, no. They were aiming to create a new food for a new superhuman being. Healthy, strong, vegetarian and pure. A new man with the strength to conquer it all.
you have to restart the simulation, reboot the whole thing. You see, the problem with food is that it contains, we call them tasty rays. I guess you might call them ghosts or something, but we specialists, we call them tasty rays. Look at them. All the tasty rays have been unleashed. What have you done? A time traveler is supposed to go back in time, steal some recipes and bring them back. Then you can do what you want with them. Open a franchise or whatever. But you do not eat them on sight. Anyway, we start that simulation quickly now. There must be a switch somewhere. Go! All those tasty rays wandering about. They are probably pissed off about all those recipes we stole from them. But we are from the present. We can do what we want with the past. It has already happened. Thank you.